So in this video, I'll show you how to install the Buffer Override plugin, which is an effect that goes on the clarinet. Uh, it is separate from Ableton Live, so that's why we have to install it separately. The first thing you need to do is download the Ecstatic Waters electronics files. If you haven't already done this, uh, it should be an email that I sent you. And if I haven't sent it to you yet, uh, email me. Usually I do that after I get the returned rental contract. So once you do that, you'll have a file that looks like this. Uh, and make sure you put it on your desktop. That's the simplest uh, place to store it. It should automatically unzip or unarchive itself into a folder that looks like this. If it hasn't done that, then you can double click this file and it should show up next to it in the same place. So once you're at this point, I would recommend you take this and put it somewhere safe. We don't need it again, but it will be a nice backup archive in case something happens to the folder. Um, so treat it as a safety backup, but you can set it aside. This folder here is the one you're going to need uh, for performance and rehearsal and, and for everything for Ecstatic Waters. So go ahead and open that. You'll see a number of files in here. For our purposes for this video, let's go to number two, install this plugin. Open that. Open this Macintosh folder and you'll see buffer override dash AU dash a lot of stuff. This is the actual um, plugin effect. So double click that. It's going to load a disk image called DFX buffer override and you'll see this window pop up. The most important file is install buffer override dot command. You can ignore everything else. But find the install buffer override dot command file and double click it. You'll see a number of windows pop up. Find this terminal window here, usually with a black background. If it says plugin successfully installed, then you've done just that and you're finished. You can close this, close this window. This last one here that says components, this is the actual effect, the piece of software. Um, in case you run into any problems, you can see exactly where this goes. Uh, it's just a piece of software you put into your home user. This will be whatever you log in with into your computer. Obviously, I'm Steve. The library folder, inside that is audio, inside that is plugins, and inside that is components. And so this simply goes in there. Now, normally, you don't need to know any of this or worry about it. That's just if something happens and it doesn't install successfully, you can uh, drag this into that folder directly. That's all this install command just did. So once we're to this point, you can eject the DFX buffer override disk image. You can close this window and then you can go back up a level and we've successfully installed the plugin now. It's pretty simple. I recommend now that you restart your computer. It won't take effect until you do that. Uh, and also take this opportunity, if you have your audio interface handy, Go ahead and plug it in and connect it to the computer before you restart. And that way for the next video you'll have everything up and running.